there is something that has risen up um, in the um, 20s, the 20 year olds, 20 to 30 year olds, even 20 to 35 year olds right now that we're seeing almost on a moment by moment basis in all of our interactions uh, with you guys out there through broadcasting and through all the other ways we interact with you. Uh, the positive is there's this tremendous that this generation, whatever we're calling these 20 somethings, um, has this tremendous entrepreneurial zeal and drive mm -hmm. and this, this, this sense to be independent. And it's not greed driven. It's uh, initiative. Mm -hmm. It's very positive. It really is. It's a wonderful character attribute. You've got that. That's how you got these rental properties. And that drive is causing these 20 somethings to do two things and oftentimes poorly because they're doing them too quickly. I did this in my 20s, but I'm a boomer, which now is a put down, but used to be just a demographic. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> but uh, now I've got old man house shoes, you know, so there you go. <laughs> but the, uh, 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 the, the, this wonderful zeal, this wonderful entrepreneurial zeal is causing these 20-somethings to buy real estate so I got to buy real estate. I'm going to get rich in real estate. I'm going to get rich in real estate. Man, when I was in my 20s is when infomercials started. Oh. That was the beginning of infomercials. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to get rich it. in real estate. I'm right. going to get rich in real estate. And uh, I grew up in the real estate business, and so I went straight into I'm going to get rich in real estate. And I did. I, I became a millionaire by the time I was 26. And uh, the other, it's driving this Bitcoin craze. It's driving yes. this GameStop craze. Yes, yes. Uh, the same zeal is driving... Mm -hmm. people to do these things and to get out there and I'm going to turn over, I'm going to do something. I'm going to, I'm going to get something. I'm going to, and it's not greed. It's the, the spirit on it. Is, I mean, the, my discernment says it's not greed. It is initiative. It's a, it's a positive ambition, but what caused, what happened with me was I bought real estate that I couldn't afford. I leveraged it. I used totally borrowed money and I ended up with $4 million worth of real estate that I owed 3 million on. So I had a million dollar net worth. But it wasn't cash flowing, and I was flipping it, and it was barely cash flowing. Like, his is barely cash flowing. This is why I know this math, because right. I lived it. Right. Because I did the same thing, only I did it with more zeros on the end. It wasn't 400000 it's for me. And it took me down because the bank got uh, sold and called our notes, yep. and, uh, then I, and I didn't have any cash. I was not in it. I had all these assets, but there was no cash. Mm-hmm. And when you do that with real estate is when you're going to go broke, yeah. not when you're going to make a fortune in real That's estate. Right. And so real estate that does not have margin is not a blessing. It's a liability. And investing in things that don't have margin or that uh, are a high-risk gamble play mm -hmm. is a misuse of your entrepreneurial ambitious zeal. Mm -hmm. And so I love the zeal. What I want to do is channel it. Yes. With some wisdom. That, and, a, and a process. Some wisdom. <laughs> yes. And that is slow down a little bit. Yeah. And pay cash. And don't invest everything you have in super high-risk crap. Um, I mean, and, and I, I know there's stories of people making money in Bitcoin. I know there's stories of people making money with GameStop. We talked to one here on the other the other day. I'm not saying it can't happen, but I know stories of people made money at the roulette wheel, too. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I know people that made money on Wheel of Fortune, but that doesn't mean our, our jeopardy. I've mm -hmm. personal friends that that won enough, and they won fifty thousand bucks or something, but they didn't change their career to be game show operators. Right. And they didn't put everything they had, mm -hmm. that didn't push all their chips to the center of the table on one hand of cards. Yeah. And that's what we're doing when we go into highly leveraged real estate, into businesses with no margin or high risk investment plays, and we act like it's a freaking game. Right. Because we put all the chips in the center of the table. Now, if you got a small percentage of your chips and you're going to lose those and it doesn't kill you, so that's, be it. that's different. I don't right. even recommend that, but I'm right. not going to make fun of you for that. Right. I am going to call you out on the other because yeah. this, this it, it, you know, it, it leads to uh, bad critical thinking that, okay, real estate's a good investment, so all real estate, no matter how broke I am, is a good investment. That's right. That's bad thinking skills. It is. And that's what happened with in the 90s with day trading. Uh, it's what we're seeing now with Bitcoin and GameStop. Uh, but I'm going to tell you something, Dave. I'm getting these callers calling in, these millennials, on my show, The Chris Hogan Show, that are saving and investing and following the plan. And the trail is the foundations course they took in high school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That they were either financial peace babies 
where their parents went through it and taught them, yeah. or they went through foundations. And so they've got this learning foundation, literally, where they're thinking and following the process. Yeah. It's encouraging. But I had people, you know, when, when I'm doing real estate deals, I had people that thought I was a genius when I was buying all that real estate, um, except the old people. And the old people that had money mm-hmm. kept looking at me going, son, you're too leveraged. You got no cash. This is going to catch up with you. You're going to get a spanking. Mm-hmm. You're going to get it. And I kept going, oh, you're just old. You don't understand. This is a proper use of capital markets. And I used all the cash OPM. phrases. OPM. You know, I've got, I've got great <laughs> internal rates of return. I have no cash. Right. No liquidity. I couldn't buy a freaking loaf of bread. You know, but I got $4 million worth of real estate. And so this idea that you can throw around all your arrogant little terms and all they show is your immaturity. They don't show that I'm a dinosaur. Mm. They show that you're a child. Mm. That's all it shows. And so the thing is, use this ambition, this movement, which is so positive in this generation, in a slower, more methodical, cash basis way with high margins. And then you're going to learn to love real estate. I got a bunch of real estate. And I want you to have some, too. I just don't want to have you. There it is.